Sorry, in this video, there will be the presence of Cleo, the poodle, because she's a little little girl and wants to be on my lap. Enrique Faves was a doctor that came from Switzerland to Cuba. He studied medicine in France, acting in the war and as Napoleon's soldier. He came to Latin America in 1819, where he became a very important doctor in a village called Baracoa, in Cuba. It's where he lived and was really appreciated, probably because he looked like a man, but was actually a woman, Enriqueta Faves. After her husband died, she took his identity during the war. She dressed like a military, fought at the French front line and kept the male identity after that. Before she went to Cuba, she was kept prisoner by the British army, but nobody seemed to notice she was a woman. After she was free, she decided to come to the new world and start over and get a better life. Probably because she was a doctor, she fought in the French front line, so she had like a good background. Before the chats start babbling, yes, she went to medical school as a man. For a while, everything was fine in Cuba. Enriqueta even got married to a woman, Juana de Leon. Unfortunately, it was also her that ratted her slash him out. A maid once came to the house and found Enrique Vaz Faves. I'm not able to pronounce that last name for some reason. And found Enrique Faves drunk with his shirt open, so she saw the boobies. After that, rumors started to happen. And then Juana got scared of what could happen and read at him slash her up. But the marriage wasn't a rose river. Apparently the pressure and the constant fear of getting called made Enriqueta aggressive and drink way too much. The maid seeing the shirt open was probably the last drop for Juana's mental health. There's no proof of such thing, that's just me wondering. Enrique slash Enriqueta was taken to court and received threats of physical exams and walking around the village naked to prove if she was a man or not. So he slash she admitted that she was a woman, but even after that she still had her body invaded and they had to go through the exams. There are still documents in the Cuba's National Archives that said, I'm gonna say that the person has all the parts of the female body, concluding she is a real and perfect one. So he slash she got re reported, deported <laughs> from all Latin American territory. I keep saying he slash she because there aren't any proof that Enriqueta identified as a male or was just dressing as a male to get what she wanted. And we'll never know because they didn't give a fuck about that at the time. The facts. She is technically the first female doctor in Cuba and probably in all Latin America. Besides, the marriages of Enriqueta and Juana was formed by the Catholic Church with all the traditions of a religious marriage. Until where we know there weren't public lesbian relationships at the time. So they are also the first female marriage that was formed by the Catholic Church. So they are also the first women to get married with the church's blessing in Latin America. What, what? What did you say, Chad? Juana could have not known? Please. They shared a bed. They shared a room. If Enriqueta felt the freedom to be without shirt at the house, Juana probably already see them. And Juana probably only read her out because the maid saw them boobies. She knew. Apparently, after she got deported, Enriqueta still wrote letters to Juana, but she never answered again for fear of what could have happened to her. The world we live in, huh? Somebody has to look like they have been as bit relaxed to be a doctor, to save lives and marry the person they love. Okay, so this was this week. <laughs> It happens, and I'm gonna go now and give lots of love for my doggy. Just lipstick on my dog now. See these other videos, you can check the It Happened playlist where there are a lot of other cases around the world. They are really weird or really interesting. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you feel like it. And see you next time.